Hello everybody. Welcome once more to my skit on lecture series. This time it is on the region of the sea, Lord of the Maldives. That means the Ali Adi Raja of port town of Kananur in Malabar even though he is often more often than not depicted as a muslim dynasty well ali musa ali raja's conquest of the maldives is pregnant with history not because he could conveniently appropriate for himself vast treasures or income derived from lucrative trade in Maldivian embroideries, but that he could successfully negotiate his vessels, his vessels consisting of Manchus and Patimars, through tortuous twists in the sea channel, lurching and shuddering in total defiance of tropical storms and hurricanes. Cutting across the deep roar of the sea in the mizzen masted vessels, that was not an easy walkover for Ali Raja, especially Ali Musa, the fifth in the line, because the Maldives is often referred to as land of gales, storm and underwater currents. Just as we have Meeratungan Arya Chakravarti, the Sedukavalan rolling over Pamban and the reef of the Mannar Island in the Park Strait from Jaffna and the Mukkuvar dynasty of Putalam in Sri Lanka and King Vikrama Aditya Paradavarma Pandyan of Tutupodi in the Gulf of Manar designate Prince of Parabas or Little Kings of Tutupodi. So also in that day and age of the sailing vessel when shipbuilding buckled to metalotage flowed along the arteries of trade and commerce, the ninth degree channel in the Indian Ocean was aptly termed the Mammali Channel. However, British naval charts and almanac would be devoid of naval splendor without adequate mention of Mammali Channel, named in honor of Ali Raja Mammali Kedav of Tanano. When it is specifically stated in unequivocal term that Ali Rajas of Kanano were Imperial Collateries Sea Customs Agents. Besides being promoted High Admiral of the Fleet and Intendant of the Marines at the Port by Mysore King Tipu Sultan. Learning even the rudiments of sea and survival law being the sort of indulgence and Nair could hardly allow himself and whose munitions of war never at all included bark, brig, schooner and sloop. It becomes not at all elusive to analyze on Aryan Kulangar Nair, the harbinger of the Arakal family, the Ali Rajas, who were Mukwan turned Padanaya. 
against this backdrop of the Turkish waters of the Arabian Sea as Ali Raja's frail fleet penetrated the great solitude. He styled himself as Sultan al Bahr or an equivalent of King of the High Seas with full authority befitting such position. His priority to trade in dried bonito, a privilege of Maldivian kings because of its abundance in the Maldivian atoll, and his claim to all valuable sea products such as ambergris, tortoiseshell, holothoria, and sea cucumber, finds a favorable analogy in Aryan chieftains of Mukwen Creek fishers, similarly entitled to heads of porpoises captured within their jurisdiction. The old adage, Arakkal Bivyamark Mangalatin Mean Vividal custom. So also, the custom of Okilakark Olamin Patal Arakkal Karsha has become almost proverbial. The origin of Ali Raja's Puchamin Kana is found traced to royal fish, so designate because it belonged to the king as a matter of prerogative. The twin fish emboldened on Ali Raja's coat of arms or heraldry evinces much interest in the light of half the share of shark fins is claimed by Ali Raja's Puchamin contractor. However, as navigational techniques spawned some of the earliest traffic in trade and commerce, Ali Raja's flotilla of frigates controlled the innumerable shipping lanes that crisscrossed the ocean blue. By the late 1850s, BBs of Cannonore possessed five barks and seven odis, in addition to several bandodis exclusively engaged in the Bengal trade. When this portrayal of Ali Raja like Sethu Kavalin of the Pamban Channel would incorporate graphic description that would approximate to a high definition of Mukwan kings, equating him with fishermen, Muslim dynasty at Kananor, so as to expose a rich spectrum of disturbing implications. The semantic unit Adi, Adu, Adaram, Ali, Alu, Alat, etc. has had the most misfortune of yielding themselves to interminable amateurism of interpretation. Given the rubrics of academic outpouring, elitist social historians who have no slot in their narrative structure as to accommodate discussion on Ali Raja as a Mukwan chieftain, Mukwan king, because as histories of civilizations is writ Raj in the history of seaports. Ports like Cannonor functioned initially as landing bases or rendezvous of fishing fleet, obviously because fisheries form the nursery of seamen all over the globe. In a voice with an arresting timber, it could be said with a sure amount of certainty that Waliya Kadakkodi, tantamount to 
obsolete Rhodian sea coat in Byzantine Greece. The Valia Kadakodi convened during times of Punari or second and final appeal in the divine presence of Arakal Ali Raja. That is because, as already stated earlier, Ali Raja's thalassic connections, as we have his palatial buildings, Arakal Kattinagam, the Palamada, built near steady rolling flanks of giant tidal waves that rush in upon the shores and hence his thalassic connection has been Ali Raja's sure way success to prosperity. His presiding over Valaya Kadakodi can never be lessened much less ignored. Thank you all very much for listening to this disquisition on the fabled Ali Rajas of Kanano, sometimes mistakenly referred to in Caribbean stories, Pirates of the Caribbean as Jolly Rogers. Ali Raja became Jolly Rogers. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.